I am about to show you some mind-blowing new Canva features you have probably never seen and they're too good to not try. Now, one of them even includes my favorite AI voice generator. So these updates aren't ranked from good to best because honestly, they are all next level. So make sure to stick around till the end because you don't want to miss a single one. So let's go ahead and kick things off with the feature that literally no one is talking about. So the first one is AI voice. So here I have a video and I wanna add a voice to it, letting my audience know that there is a program from Amazon that pays you money by simply doing a 30 to 60 second review of products that you own. You're just sharing your opinion. This is one of the programs that I teach. I make four figures every single month and I wanna add a voice overlay to this. So what you would do is you would go, you will upload your video that you're working with and if you come down where it says audio, you will click here, generate AI voice. Now, when you go in here, you're, you add your text here. So I'm gonna add my text. Did you know you can make money by doing 30 to 60 second reviews of products you purchase from Target, Walmart, local stores that are sold on Amazon. This is how I made over $4,000 monthly. So this is what I want on top of the video. Now you're able to select a voice so you could do from different countries and different accents as well. So I have mine set up as English, United States, but you could do like English from UK, you could do Australia, you could do Netherlands um, and any other language that suits you. So I'm gonna keep it um, US. And here they have different characters you could play around with. These are the free ones here. The ones with the crown are paid. But keep in mind, this is a free um, feature from Canva. So you don't necessarily need to pay for this. So let's go ahead and do Lisa. And let's Did see. Did you know you can make money by doing 30 to 60 second reviews of products you purchase from Target? And let's go ahead and do Rolf really quick. Did you know you can make money by doing 30 to 60 second reviews of products you purchase from Target? So I kind of like his a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and select him. And then I'm going to click on generate AI voice. This automatically is gonna add the AI voice on top of the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it around where I want it to start. Maybe right here, I could trim off the video a little bit um, and start when I start walking with the packages and then kind of put this in the beginning and then trim at the end since I'm showing my face there. Okay, so that would be good then. Let's go ahead and play it Did one more time. Did you you can make money by doing 30 to 60 second reviews of products you purchase from Target, Walmart, local stores that are sold on Amazon? This is how I made over $4,000 monthly. Did you know? So this is pretty cool. It's a really great way to add AI voice. I'm sure that over time, they're going to be adding more characters, but this is feature number one. Now, the second feature is a game changer, multiple formats in one file. And I'm excited about this update from Canva because before, if you were working on different formats, like a reel, a Pinterest pin, a Facebook post, you had to open separate Canva files for each one, but now you can actually keep all of your formats in one file. And this is a huge time saver. It makes organizing your content so much easier. So let me show you how it works. And I'm gonna show you two different ways that you could do this. The first one is, let's say that I'm working on this mock-up. This is for my blogging mastery course that I sell. And I wanna go ahead and create a Pinterest pin. What I could essentially do is click on the photo, right click, and go to resize page. Now this is a Canva Pro feature. So you do need to have Canva Pro for this particular one that I'm gonna show you. Now from here, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna click on custom size. I'm gonna do my size for Pinterest. Then I'm gonna go to height 1500 and I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy and resize. Now, instead of opening a new window with that size, I have my regular size that I had and here is my Pinterest size. This is gonna save you so much time. I mean, literally it took two seconds. The second way to do this is if you come down here where you normally would click on add page, if you click here on this little arrow pointing down, now you're able to go ahead and pick different things that you wanna incorporate in this file. So you could do sheets, docs, presentations, whiteboard, um, websites, prints, etc. So let's say I wanna go ahead and add something for social media. I'm gonna click here. 
And from here, I'm gonna search for what size do I need? So let's say I wanna do a TikTok video or maybe I wanna do a Facebook cover, right? So I'm gonna click here and it's gonna go ahead and add the new one with the right size. This is a game changer and it is one of the best ones they added so far. All right, so the next feature I have for you is photo editor. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this little icon, it looks like a little camera. And these are the new features that you could use. We have perspective correction, we have background generator, and we have auto select. Now from all three, this is the only one that is a pro feature, so keep that in mind. Now with perspective correction, this only works when you go through photo editor, that's the only way that you could find it, so keep that in mind. And when you click here, it's gonna prompt you to choose one of your images. So let's say that I wanna work on this image here. What's cool about this is that you're able to rotate your image. You're also able to change the perspective of your image vertically and horizontally. So for instance, if you need to rotate an image, you'll be able to do that with this, which is really, really cool. Makes it really simple. And if you wanna change the perspective of your image, you're able to do so as you can see. And you could do it on both sides as well as this one, both sides as well, the bottom and top. Now this works really well for like graphic designs. Like if you're creating a YouTube thumbnail, this also works for anyone that's creating like mockups. Let's say that I was adding an extra layer, like an image to this computer here. And I need it to be in a way that's angled just like the computer using the perspective tool is gonna help me do that. So I absolutely love this new feature. All right, so the next feature I have for you is the auto select. And this is a huge game changer. And you're able to select any part of your image and edit that particular part. So let me explain it a little bit more. So you have your image open and you click on adjust or you could go to photo editor auto select from there. And from here, you're able to click on something specific that you wanna change, the colors, etc. You're able to go ahead and brush an area that you wanna change. So you would just go like this and brush that specific area. You could also do foreground, so this part of your photos, and you could do background, so just the full background and you're able to change the white balance, so you're able to play around with the temperature, and it's only gonna change the background because that's what we selected. You're able to make it brighter, darker if you need to. You're able to change the contrast. You're able to add highlights. You're able to add shadows or less shadows, um, play around with your whites and blacks, as you can see, that's pretty cool as well. You're able to come down here and make it more bright if you want to, add a little bit of saturation if you want to. You're able to play around with sharpness, the clarity, and so on. This is a game changer, especially when you're working on your photos for your products, maybe like your mockups, you're able to play around with this. Again, you're able to do the background, foreground, you're able to click on a specific item. So let's say I wanna click on this one here and I just wanna change the actual um, computer, I could play around with it, look at that. I could play around with it if I wanted to. Make it brighter, I could make it darker. If I wanted to now change something about this little flower pot, I would deselect and then go to the flower pot and then do the changes that I need to make. It's that simple, but isn't this cool? It's gonna make a huge difference for your product photography for sure. The next feature is background generator. When you click on it, it's gonna prompt you to pick one of your images. I'm gonna work with this one here. And it's gonna ask you to describe a new background. I'm gonna go ahead and put here um, square times New York, one of my favorite places. And I'm gonna click on generate. It automatically is gonna go ahead and generate four different backgrounds for me to pick from. And if you're not happy with the output, it will give you the option to regenerate again. So to go ahead and recreate it again. So these are the options that it gave me and they look pretty good actually. Um, I love this one and that one with the busy background. But look how cool this is. 
If your jaw just dropped like mine did when I first tried these tools, then you will love what I teach inside the Brand Build Bank Society is my $12.99 month membership that helps you turn your Canva designs into income with brand strategy, digital product tutorials, content planning, and much more. It's basically your online business starter kit. So link is in the description and comments if you want to check it out. So let's continue. All right, so the next feature is Canva AI. You can see it up here where it says Canva AI new, and you can also see it in your navigation bar. So when you click here, it's gonna give you different options. You could have it designed for you. It could create an image for you. It could draft a doc. It could code for you as well. So I'm gonna show you how to use all of these. So design for me, let's say that I wanted to design 50% off Mother's Day mugs sale that I'm running. Go ahead and type that. Obviously, the better the input, the better the output it will be for you, the results that it will give you. So from here, it's going to go ahead and generate some ideas for you. And it's going to give you multiple ones to see which one you prefer. And you could continue um, with the input here to ch make any additional changes that you want to. But as you can see, it's creating the actual mother's day like promotional posts for you so we have this one 50 percent off mother's day we have this one here that has like the mugs and it has like a little quote on the top and we have several ones here if you like any of these you could just click here on edit and it will let you proceed with it and make additional changes to it obviously um if you want more designs you could click here if you want something with pastel colors you could click here if you want to give it more input on what exactly you're looking for. Maybe these didn't, you know, resonate to what you wanted. You could add that here, which is pretty cool. Now let's go to the second thing that you could do with it. Now let's go to create an image and I'm going to use an example that Canva had, which is a skincare bottle with soft botanical shadows. We're going to go ahead and click so it could generate it. Again, it's going to create a few of them here down here for you to choose from. And look at how amazing these actually look. They look pretty, pretty cool. And if you want to edit any of these, you would just click on edit. And from there, it will open the window so you could play around with it and change it. But it looks pretty, pretty cool. All right. So the next one is draft a doc. When you click there, it's going to ask you what type of doc do you want a blog post, a summary, an outline, a social media description, article, etc. I'm going to go ahead and do blog posts. And let's say that I sell organic lip balm and I want an article about this. So I put five benefits of using lip organic balm and I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. This automatically is going to create a blog post about this specific topic. What's great about it is that you're able to request to, you know, change anything that you want in it by adding it here. And you can also edit all of this by clicking on use Canva editor. You're able to change the colors. You're able, you have all the text right here that you can use. Obviously you can make this longer as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. And lastly, we have code for me. I'm going to tell it to create an XC calculator and click. This actually is going to go ahead and open a new window and it's going to start coding and it's going to create an XC pricing calculator for me that I could use. And this is without no experience with coding. No, you know, you don't have to be tech savvy, which is pretty, pretty cool. And let me show you the results. So here is the result. This is the XC seller calculator that it created for me, which is pretty, pretty remarkable. Now you do want to make sure that, you know, you check because mistakes can happen. But so far, I mean, it looks pretty, pretty good. It does have the fees correctly here at least. So that's good. But if I wanted to make any revisions, I could just add it here. But look at how great this is. All right. So the next feature is advanced formatting. And there's three new changes here. So whenever you're working on whatever you're formatting, whether let's say it's a wedding invitation or anything that you're working on, if you go up here, if you select the text that you're working on and you go up here where it says advanced formatting, it's going to give you all of these different options. So let's go to typography first 
And let's talk about kerning. Now, kerning is going to let you refine the letter spacing for visual balance. So sometimes you'll have different fonts that for whatever reason, certain letters have like big gaps between them. And you're like, oh, I want it a little bit closer. So what this does is they'll combine this letter and this letter and will remove that gap in between. So for instance, if you were to click on it and you would turn it on, you'll see that it moved to the left. So that is for visual balance of any text that you have. Now, the one on the bottom, the ligature, this combines specific characters elegantly. So it's going to combine, let's say we have this here, we click on it again, and we turn it on. You'll see that it, divide, it, it created like space in between each of them really nicely. So if you have different characters that you're using for, let's say, like a wedding invitation, that is a great one to use. Now, another feature that I love from the advanced one is this. So you see how we have here August 12th and we have the TH. Normally to get the TH up here on the Canva, I will have to create this separately and then move it and try to like put it right on, you know, right next to the 12 up here and right next to the two. Now you could just highlight it, go to advanced formatting. And you're going to go to general and you're going to do the text positioning. So you could change it up as you can see or down. Obviously for this one, it will be up, but now it's formatted the correct way. As you can see, it's up. So this is a game changer, especially for those of us that are creating digital files like this. All right. So the next feature that we're going to talk about is Canva sheets. Now you are able to create your very own spreadsheets within Canva, which is really great. And they already have pre-made templates that you could use from budget, calendar, schedule. They have social media, invoice, trackers, and they have blank list, sales, inventory, and so much more for you to pick from. You could also create anything from scratch as well. And if you click on actions up here, um, you're able to go ahead and play around with this. You could say, okay, generate table, and you could say exactly what you want. So let's say you want an email marketing calendar, or you could describe what type of table you want here. And once you describe what you want, you click on generate, and you let AI actually do it for you, and it will create it for you. You click on insert, and here it is. So there's so many different ways that you could use Canva Sheets. If you would like me to create a tutorial on how to use it or how to create your very own sheets that you could sell like on Etsy or other marketplaces, let me know by leaving a comment below. Another feature is add animated captions. So you upload your video, you click on T for text, then you click on captions. You select the video that you're working with. I only have one there, so I'm going to keep that one and generate captions. This automatically adds the captions for me. From here, if I select the actual caption and click on animate, it's gonna give me these three options here. We have snake, highlight, and reveal. Now, let's go ahead and play each one of these. So let's say for snake. Did you know exactly how I do it step-by-step? Step. Comment info below to learn more. So it adds like a little line on the caption. And then highlight, um, essentially what it does, it, it highlights the word that you're saying in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and select highlight and play it. Let me change the color since I already have it black and the highlight is black. I'm going to make the highlight a different color so it doesn't blend in. So I'm going to do just pink for now just to kind of show you guys. And that's how it will look. I just put the volume down, but that's how it will look. So it's pretty cool. You could play around with these, but this is another way to make your content better, especially with captions and more interesting as well. These Canva updates are pretty amazing. And I promise the more you use them, the more profitable your content and products will become. So don't forget to check out my brand build bank society is your shortcut to building a brand that sells without burnout. So link in the description and comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you are ready to turn these Canva tools 
into real income. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a hundred social media posts in under 10 minutes using Canva. So you don't want to miss it. I'll see you there.